Good evening, everybody, and welcome back. It's another action packed episode of Friends of the Feather, evening edition. It is Chicken and a Tune Sunday. We, um, we have successfully retrieved four eggs again today. Um, let's see, I know for sure that Faddle is laying this one is for sure laying um let's see i think two of the beanstalk brothers are laying um they are the the ones that i know for sure possibly one of these two because they've been hanging out in the nests a lot i know for sure that um two of the Beanstalk brothers are laying, and I think that Falco might be as well. Now these guys like to sneak up on me, I've noticed. You'll see. And Laddie, Laddie for sure is laying. Hey, now stop. Laddie is, uh, Laddie's laying for sure. What's up, Falky Balky? Falky's such a lover. Aren't you, baby? Yeah, you're Falky lover. Yeah. So, things are, we're cooking right along, and the eggs are, are getting pretty big. They're, um, the first couple were too small to fit in the little egg rack that I have, um, but they're all big enough to fit in there now. We had a bit of an, a pinata event earlier. Um, their food exploded. This little feeder right here is a problem because the top spins off just a little too easy. So, um, when they get a little too vigorous about their eating habits, the top pops off that and you get this effect. It's the pinata effect, which they really enjoy, but it's a huge waste of food. So, uh, we want to try to avoid that if we can, but this feeder is a problem. The other hang, the other hanging ones aren't really an issue, but, uh. I gotta watch out. These chickens like to sneak up on me, and they do the, they've been doing the peck and twist on my arms. It's really rude. Yeah. But, uh, everything's good. Everything's great. My phone's about to die, so I think this, uh, this video is probably gonna have to be shorter because I, I have to leave myself a little bit of juice because I have to be able to, uh, oh, good golly, Miss Maya. Oh my, I have to be able to uh, upload it still. Oh my, that was brutal. Um, yeah, so Faddle is, uh, is having his way with the hens for sure. That was, uh, that, yeah, so. But uh, yeah, so song day, we talked about Dave Matthews, we talked about Rush, we talked about uh, tool. Um, again, tools coming to Charleston. If anybody would like to donate to the Get Me to Tool in Charleston fund, uh, front front row center is only twenty eight hundred dollars. Um, you know, message just send a, send a little message below. Let me know if you'd be willing to donate to that fund. Uh, oh my gracious. And that the, I don't I don't think I've ever seen any kind of shows at the venue that they're they're going to at this time. I don't think it's the Civic Center, and um, I don't know what the sound quality would be like. But if it is the Civic Center, then I've been to a couple of concerts there, and it's uh, it leaves a lot to be desired as far as sound quality. This is Lateralis. She's been laying eggs like a fiend. You can tell who's laying eggs because when you go in there, they're sitting on a nest. Don't peck me. This one pecks me every time I sit here. I try to be friendly. I try to be nice. See, why can't you be more like Falky Balky? Falky Balky just chills. But you peck and twist, and it hurts. They like to peck at my rings. Yeah, it's not very nice. Oh, I've got my eye on you. And one of those guys is laying as well. But, um... So, um... We started with Dave Matthews this morning because he's kind of where I've bloomed into my music maturity, I guess. I don't even know. That sounds really dumb, doesn't it? But anyway, um, the, the, some of my favorite songs, I, I mentioned number 41, 
Uh, I mentioned Warehouse, Lie in Our Graves. Those are just off the first one. Um, Last Stop is really good. Lie in Our Graves. I really like Minarets. Um, that's a that's a really really good one. One of their one of their first ones. Um, I once once they got past like uh, before these crowded streets. Um, I do like some like um, Alligator Pie is really good. Boot Hill is really good. Um, I really liked the Lily White sessions. Big Eyed Fish is really good. Uh, Raven is another really good one. Um, there's a uh, there's, there's really good. Tim Reynolds, um, they're live at Luther College. That whole album is fantastic, of course. Live at Central Park is really good. And God bless him. I love Dave. I love him to death. I really do. But there came a point in his career where I think he was just past where he should have been. And I'm okay with saying that. Uh, you know, send me all the hate you want. That's fine. That's just my honest opinion. Um, like, I haven't even listened to the new album. Um, there are some really, really good songs on some of his newer albums. Um, that, oh, that I, uh, see, now that's, that might be what happened earlier. Um, we've got some, we've got some, uh, some rooster aggression going on here. Uh, hopefully they work it out, because I, uh, this is how it is, boys. So we'll keep an eye out for any kind of injuries. But anyway, um, there there are some good songs, and I, I openly admit that. But, um, you know, I, I can also openly admit that there some of his older stuff, when I listened to, like, uh, we were when we were on our way to uh, Mississippi, we were, uh, uh-oh. -uh. We're doing the chicken roundup. Everyone's running circles around the enclosure trying to stay away from the roosters that are fighting. Oh boy. Round and round they go. Um, we were listening to Sirius XM on the way down to Mississippi. And they played a, a live show from Charlotte, I think, that was done like in the beginning of June. It was just days before this date. And I think this was like the 6th fourth fifth or sixth something in there and this was from june 2nd so this was like brand spanky new and um upper management doesn't really care for dave that much so i was just kind of keeping my eye out for different songs that i really like of his and of course number 41 comes on and i was like oh let's listen to number 41 crank it up a little bit and i was just disappointed i i don't think I mean, again, I love him. The old stuff will endure. We don't need to... We don't need to do that. It was... But it was... I mean, it was the song. It was good. If I was there, I would have loved it. But, um... Because with the with a Dave show, it's more about, like... <laughs> this sounds really dumb. The vibe. It's about the vibe. It's about the, the camaraderie that you feel with the people around you that know every word to every song. That's the thing about Dave concerts. So, and the concerts in general, really. Um, I've always been a fan of live music. I've seen a lot of bands live. Um, not as many as I would like, that's for sure. And not as many as most people, I'm sure. But for me, I feel like it's a lot. Um, I've got all my ticket stubs and everything. Maybe we'll have to do a stroll down memory lane one day on our uh, Chicken and a Tune Sunday. Um, but yeah, I uh, I love me some live music, and I really want to get out to see some this summer. Um, I know that there's a, um, like a Grateful Dead tribute band called Dark Star Jubilee, I think, that's coming to uh, Legend Valley in Ohio, which is ironically the same place that I saw the Grateful Dead twice original cast of course I went to a dead and company show but I didn't actually go in my friend did but I didn't my best friend I didn't go with her because I uh, I was trying to sell my wares but um yeah I mean and again the dead is hit or miss for me I, I really again it's the crowd the vibe I really you know the music is really awesome live um the you know they're uh, all of their jams and their it's it's just great stuff but um to listen to it like on the album 
I don't really care for it that much. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but like the radio versions of some of the songs I just don't like. And, but I'll listen to it live and I will cut a rug, let me tell you, I will dance a jig. Um, but I don't like the, I don't like the, the studio versions. I'm a weirdo, it's official, and again, thank you so much if you've listened all the way through this rant. It is quite a ramble. We've got lazy chickens. It's overcast today, as you can see. We had a nice little rain come through, which was much needed. I, I vowed that I wouldn't cut my grass until it rained again because it looked like it had been really dry. There were huge cracks in the ground, so now that it's rained, I can mow, which makes me happy because it's pretty shaggy. But um, it'll be healthier in the long run, I think. So, uh, thank you 130 subscribers. Please subscribe, comment, let me know where you are, what you're about. I do appreciate the comments that people are making. Just, um... Makes me feel good. Why not? Why not make a girl feel good? Give her a call. Give her a comment. Give her a thumbs up. Come on, you know you want to do it. All right, everybody. Until next time, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye bye.